Hello everybody, I really want to make this video it needs to be done on Egypt and what I'm suggesting is well, we all know what they say about Egypt, it came from nowhere, it arose literally out of nowhere and I think one of the reasons is it was transplanted from somewhere else and they say, well the archaeologists say, you know, everything came from Egypt. Everything arose in Egypt. And they'll say this arose in Egypt, but this just came from nowhere. This this was the first large pyramid in Egypt, Third Dynasty. As soon as the Third Dynasty arrived, they built this straight away from nothing. There was no prior development to this. They say it's mastabas stacked together. No. It's just built around a completely different mastaba, much older. And this is all built on top of that. It's just one big structure which was enlarged. So they had they had pyramid ideas as soon as they arrived in Egypt and I'm going to show you where they come from and in this video I'm also going to suggest that you know it's not a tomb that is a Buddhist stupa the ancient Egyptians were Buddhists and you don't have to believe me I'm just going to prove it to you alright so just keep watching I'm going to prove everything okay next slide now these guys were replaced by these guys, the 4th Dynasty, they had a better pyramid technology. I think they're just a totally different bunch of pyramid builders and they came and improved. And where did they come from? I think Central Asia. These are, I would argue, Buddhist stupas. Three of them because of the Trinity. And there's another Trinity going on down here. Trinity is Stone Age. It's Stone Age idea. And uh, by the way, I think these guys oppressed these guys, Joza, Joseph's Pyramid, uh, and these were the oppressors. Kufu would have been the pharaoh. Now, that is a Buddhist stupa in Japan. And when I say Buddha, I don't mean the human Buddha, Gautama Buddha. I mean, much earlier, Buddha was a fire god. And we see relics of this religion going way back. And even the Buddhists will tell you that Gautama was only one of the Buddhas. There were many before him. And these are, these are built for luck. And I reckon these and these are also built for luck. They're just built for luck. They're not tombs. That's uh, Apparently the, these stupas contain the ashes of Buddha. Okay. Uh, but there's too many of them. So uh, they would actually contain, they would actually be representations of something else. Actually, World Mountain. This is World Mountain, World Tree. Now, this is, this appeared in the news, you know, a few months ago in Kazakhstan. And it seems to be a precursor to the Egyptian pyramids. And I'm, I'm saying, this is where they came from. They came from Central Asia. These guys were Eurasian. We don't know who they were, the pyramid builders, from somewhere, somewhere probably Asia. Asia is probably the home of the pyramid builders. And, yep, this is, this, this is precursors to what was going on in Egypt. As the pyramid builders swept across Asia, they went into Egypt. But even before they reached Egypt, another branch reached England, built this. And guess what? No burial. No burial in the Egyptian ones either. Uh, because they're not burials, they're not tombs. This is this is a, a Buddhist stupa, and Buddha was originally like a fire god, and uh, he, he, like Loki, he lived under World Mountain. This is World Mountain, and this is sort of to trap him, to keep him here, to keep him helping mankind. He's a bit like Prometheus. He's helped mankind out. He's a very clever giant, and this is like a tomb for this giant Buddha or Bud, or Odin Od. That's another form. We'll get to that. That is a Buddhist stupa, and by the way, do you see this? Uh, going on down here. This is in Nepal. This pattern is replicated in one of the pyramids, the ruined pyramids at Pumapunku. So they would have gone across the Pacific to South America or from Europe across the Atlantic. This is another mound stupa from India in Sanchi. It's almost 2,000 years old. Here, yeah, that's World Tree. No one says that's World Tree, but I'm telling you that's World Tree because this is the mythology. There's World Tree on World Mountain. This is Silbury Hill. It's a step pyramid uh, in England, and it was covered over. And I'm saying that's a, a Buddhist stupa. This is, these, these are Buddhists. This is in Poland. 
if this is a beautiful place to visit, I visited this place, and it's it, it's always white, you know. That's how you can tell the pyramid religion. There, there's actually white cliffs behind this. Same with uh, Silbury Hill, it's built out of white chalk. New Grange has a white facade. The Giza pyramids, they were white, white limestone. Yeah, to show the Earth Mother as well. It's it's a whole pantheon. It's not just for the Buddha for the Buddha God, but although these are Buddha, Buddhist stupas in Poland. Uh, again, this is this is probably the one in Poland. And again, it's it's a Buddhist stupa. They they excavated it. No burial. No no burial. It's for a god. And this is what Buddha says: Happiness does not depend on what you have or who you are. It solely relies on what you think. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. The mind is everything. What we think, we become. Now, I, I told you at the start of this, don't believe me. You don't have to. I'm going to convince you. This is Ptah. And Ptah is the most primordial of the Egyptian, uh, the strongest of the Egyptian gods in the Old Kingdom. And he's a green man, essentially, fertility. And this is Buddha. If you look at Pitta, uh, they say it's pronounced Pitta, voc probably vocalizes Pitta. Well, that's just one accent. Look how many English accents there are. Change that vowel, I, to a, a U, and you, you, you have Buddha. Pitta is Buddha. No one's, no one's saying this. I'm the only one that's saying this. This is Buddha. And if you look at what he says, Pta is the creator god par excellence. He is considered the demiurge who existed before all other things and by his willful, willfulness thought the world. It was first conceived by thought and realized by the word. Pta conceives the world by the thought of his heart and gives life to the magic of his word. Okay, so he created the world by his thoughts. He is Buddha. The, and guess who brought him along? Guess who brought him along? The Old Kingdom people. From the Old Kingdom, he quickly absorbs the appearance of Sokka and Tatnan. They're, they're the older versions. Ancient deities of the Memphite region. He was brought by the 3rd and 4th dynasty. Those pyramid builders. Those are Buddhist stupas. Look. There we go. Um, Oops. Look at this. This is Buddha from Sri Lanka, but another form of Buddha. This is essentially Mercury, the older form of Buddha. He's a green man, lots of jewelry. This is the Egyptian version. And you can tell me what's going on here. It's the same God. It's exactly the same God. The ancient Egyptians, 4th dynasty, were Buddhists. The Giza pyramids are Buddhist stupas. That's what they are. Another form in the 19th century. And here is Buddha with the tree. Now, in world mythology, Buddha sits, under, sits on a mountain under a tree and he gains knowledge. He just stays there. Buddha with the tree. That's why he's the green man. This is the older Buddha, not Gautama. Oh, Gautama Buddha as well. The, the legend became associated with him, but it's this thing is worldwide, you see. And these are the guys who brought him along. The old kingdom. The old kingdom are from somewhere in Asia, perhaps around Kazakhstan. And again, you don't have to believe me that Egypt was invaded. I'm telling you they were invaded, and I'll prove it to, I'll prove it to you in a second. The Egyptologists say, no, it was all indigenous, because there was never an invasion in the ancient times, because there's no swords, they're not buried with swords or anything like that. But I mean, there are so many migrations today, and, and these migrations can be peaceful. Uh, Egypt could have absorbed people peacefully, but believe me, these were invaders, because they built pyramids. And the pyramids are only built in the delta in the north of Egypt, never in the south. That means they swept into Egypt, they lived in the north. The pyramids were a foreign import from the north. They weren't coming from the south because they weren't building pyramids in the south in the Old Kingdom. That was later on. Uh, Odin is the European version of Buddha. I showed you mounds, they swept into Europe and he's basically Cyclops, one-eyed, 
uh, an earth giant. Okay, he's basically Gandalf. Like, like, almost like the fallen angel, wandering around on earth, helping mankind. Gandalf's always helping. Again, uh, Odin. And it's such a similar legend. He basically was, was hanging uh, on a tree when he gained his knowledge. Basically crucified, really. It's a, like an old, uh, old version of Jesus as well. Gandalf's like that as well, reborn as the white wizard. And yes, I'm saying they came from somewhere in Russia. And this is Russia. They've been talking about this recently in the news. There are some nubs here, just like on this cut stone in the Aral Mountains, just like you see at Tiwanaku. And they would have spread out from Asia into Egypt, into England, into South America, building stupas as they went. Again, this is from Russia, and this is probably the most dramatic of the stones. I haven't inspected that personally, very few have, but... The people who have inspected it think it's pretty weird, and usually you don't get this smooth surface. I'm not sure if it's totally smooth, but that a, a surface like that is quite unusual. Could be natural, but we'll we'll see with time. We'll see. And now, uh, you know, if you don't believe me that Egypt could easily be invaded by rulers from Central Asia, this is a picture of a Mamluk warrior from the Middle Ages, and they ruled Egypt. They were Turks, and the Turkish people. Look at this, he's dressed like a Mongol, and they ruled Egypt for hundreds of years. And the same pattern could simply have repeated. The Turks came from here, Kazakhstan, basically where that ruined pyramid was. Ural Mountains are up here where the, the megaliths are, and they swept into Egypt, they conquered Egypt in the Middle Ages, and they ruled Egypt independently of the Ottomans and the other Turks. They were their own tribe. So, the, the same thing would have happened with the Fourth Dynasty. They swept in there and they ruled. And this is completely overlooked, no one's talking about it, but it's the truth. Just examine the facts. Egypt were Buddha worshippers. Thanks very much.